Hi, everyone. How's it going? Um, Eno Benjamin here. Um, I'm just really excited to be a part of the Arizona uh, Cardinal family. Um, I, I went to school at um, Arizona State, um, and so I, I've kind of seen what, what's all been going on with the Cardinals um, as far as Coach Cliff, uh, Kingsbury um, and the Kyler pieces and just stuff like that. So um, I've been watching the offense and seeing how it goes. Um, I think I'd, I'd fit right in, and I'm very excited to be a part of this team. Okay, let's open up for questions, starting with Richard Sines, Scott Bordeaux, and Kent Summers, please. All right, you know, first of all, I would say welcome welcome to the Cardinals in Arizona, but, you know, you're already familiar with Arizona. But just uh, take us through the, the roller coaster of emotions from the day, just, you know, waiting for your name to be called. Uh, you know, dropping and then all of a sudden getting picked by a, a franchise and a team in an area you're very familiar with. Uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, um, just I, I thought I'd be taken um, uh, yesterday, some point during the third round. Uh, uh, closed that day. I was thinking, okay, today I was gonna um, get drafted pretty early. Uh, but it didn't turn out that way. Um, but I'm just um forever grateful, grateful that I've got the opportunity um to get drafted and play the sport that I love once again. Um and it's just that much of an easier transition for me, um being able to just go and move that uh, right down the road um where I attended college. You know, Scott Ford Open Athletic, congratulations. Do you think your drop in the draft has something to do with how running backs maybe are valued by the NFL these days? Um, no, not really. Um, I think just kind of how, even just the first running back that was taken off the board, um, as far as Clyde and then DeAndre, I think it kind of shook some things up. Um, and, uh, teams started moving up and, um, taking the players that were on their board. Um, I felt like, um, I guess teams thought they had some more important, uh, more important people that they needed to pick or pick up in front of me. And, and that's what they did. Um, so I can't be mad. Um, like I said, I'm just glad that I got the opportunity, um, to play the, uh, uh, get drafted and play the uh, game that I love. You know, you, you you said you you expected to go um, yesterday and earlier today, and I mean, how did you handle that? What what did you do? Did you continue to to watch television, follow this on the internet, get away from it? Uh yes, sir. Um, I just continued to follow um, just interactions with my agent. Um, it wasn't playing out the way we were expecting it to, um, but at the end of the day, I knew um, all I needed was one shot, one opportunity. Um, and so um, we were pretty um, optimistic that that opportunity would come. Um, just looking at the team as far as fits, um, looking at the board and what we had, um, it was just um, Arizona ended up being the next one. And, um, and I sort of got that feeling. Um, and right, I think, uh, I want to say it was the Detroit Lions picking right uh, before them or something. Uh uh, I just grabbed my phone and I felt my phone vibrating and um, I knew from there the 602 number was Arizona and it, it kind of gave me a good feeling right off the bat. Next three, please. Let's go with Darren Urban, Craig Tui, and Tressa Tudrick. Hey, you know, at the at the Combine, you mentioned that uh, Cliff had recruited you when you were coming out of high school. Uh, you mentioned how you wouldn't mind playing in this offense. Did you ever realistically think that this was going to happen? Uh, I know you said right there at the end you thought maybe it would happen but like going into this process were you thinking the cardinals were a legitimate spot uh yes sir um those are one of the guys that i had on my uh my visits um in order to um during uh throughout the combine process um uh, i visited them uh, multiple times throughout the combine process so i knew that it was a, a very le a legit uh option um like i said there was a few teams as far as knowing the fit um, and knowing where they stand as far as needing a running back that we were looking at, um, and Arizona Cardinals was one of them. You know, Craig Fui, ABC 15 here in Phoenix. Um, your thoughts on playing in the backfield with Kenyon Drake, Chase Edmonds, and, of course, Kyler Murray? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I was actually just on the phone with um, Kenyon Drake. Um, and he was giving me some encouraging words as far as what to expect when I come in the room, um, welcome aboard, and stuff like that. Uh, this off season, I had an opportunity to go out there and work with Chad, uh, Chase Edmonds and run routes with him um, uh, during uh, this off season. And also, Kyler's one of those guys that I have a pretty good relationship uh, with. I would say, um, growing up kind of in the same area in Texas, um, uh, I've been able to see him play. We we talk every now when we see each other, and so um, I think we're uh, uh, going to get things going. Hi, Eno, Tressa Tudrick, 3TV, CBS 5. Uh, congratulations, uh, way to stay in Arizona. My question for you, the last Sun Devil to be drafted was Pat Tillman. So is there any 
resemblance or kind of just uh, good feelings about that kind of having that notoriety notoriety with uh, Pat Tillman and the history with Arizona State? Uh, yeah, uh, just knowing what Pat Tillman has done, um, not only for Arizona State or the state of Arizona, um, just even just for this whole country. Um, so just to be even just mentioning something like that, I, I think I was just uh, told that that news that, that he was the last uh, Sun Devil taken. And so um, it kind of shook me to my core hearing that, um, just knowing who he, has, or who he is and what he's done. Next three, let's go Cheerston, Catherine, and Mark McClune. Hey, you know, Cheerson Sissel, 12 News. Uh, what was your communication like with uh, ASU coaching staff, whether it was Herm or Coach Aguano, as you sort of continued to wait to get a phone call? Did they did they offer some words of encouragement for you? Um, no, um, I was talking with um, – our strength uh, strength coach, um, Coach Joe, he was um, able to give me some encouraging words. I'm um, just really even, yeah, just the whole coaching staff kind of reached out um, and was saying, uh, God's going to put you where he wants uh, wants you to go. Um, even Todd Graham came back and he was reaching out um, and stuff like that. Hey, you know, Catherine Fitzgerald from the Republic, congrats. Um, when you mentioned how, you know, Cliff Kingsbury had recruited you, how much can that longer relationship over the years help in a year like this when the draft is so different with less in-person meetings? Um, I, I think it, it kind of paid off a lot. Um, just like you're saying how everything paid off um, as far as uh, with COVID. Um, so a lot of players weren't able to go out there um, and meet coaches, sit down with them and stuff like that. So I think um, coach was able, coach Cliff Kingsbury was able to lean on that relationship, prior relationship that we had um, and kind of lean on that and trust that. Hey, you know, Mark McLoon, 3 TV, CBS 5, congratulations. Glad to have you staying in town. Hey, curious just how much last year at ASU on Sundays you would sit down and watch the Cardinals and kind of scout what they were doing. Um, every now and then when we had time, we would uh, watch the Cardinals play. Um, usually our Sundays would be um, – eventful uh, as far as us going up to the stadium treatment running film and stuff like that we usually don't have time to watch nfl games uh but when i did have the opportunity to go out there um and just uh, check kyler out i did next three looks like mcmanum and signs fitzgerald hey you know bob mcmanum in arizona republic can you just talk about this offense the way you see it and where you fit um uh Catching the ball, running the ball, any special team duty maybe? I don't know. Uh, yes, sir. Um, really, I'm, I'm looking to go in there and do anything I can um, to uh, contribute to the team's success right off the bat. Um, uh, um, as far as what they've done, um, they, they're a lot of uh, a spread, um, something that I feel very comfortable doing. Um, I have did it in college. I've done it in the high school. I mean, just the, the picks and pieces that – um, that they've got going together. Um, it looks like it's going to really turn out to be something. Um, uh, just watching them make their picks, um, th that was something that kind of stood out to me. Um, just kind of looking for the guys, um, looking at the guys that they were going after um, to build this team. Hey, you know, uh, you, you kind of touched on, on, you know, communicating with Coach Herm and the ASU coaching staff. They obviously have a lot of guys there with NFL experience. How much did they prepare you for this moment, whether it be the combine, even today, and, and knowing the possibilities of not getting drafted where you wanted to be drafted, just being prepared for that mentally and physically? Um, I think the whole coaching staff has done a really good job. Um, that's what they're all about, and that was the point of Herm. Um, building this pro class model. Um, he wants the transition to be easy um, from going from a, co a collegiate athlete um, to a professional athlete. Um, and so um, that's a huge testament. Um, I felt like I was really um, prepared for this transitioning um, as far as being able to get on the phone, speak to reporters face to face and stuff like that, um, being coached on um, as far as what to see, what you're looking for and things like that. You know, outside of just waiting to see where you ended up, what were the last few days like for you as far as like who you were watching with, where you watched? Did you do anything special like food or decorations? Um, I, I've been here with family. Um, I'm at home here in Dallas, Texas. Um, just kind of watching um, everything with them and seeing how it all unfolded. Um, uh, we had a couple of wing stops. Uh, my mom made some homemade food um, for the, the people here, um, our family. So, um, it's kind of been all over the place. Um, just kind of sitting back, relaxing with everyone, and um, watching perhaps what now is the best moment of my life take place. 